Okay, so this is the fourth and final part of To the Bitter Goes the Moon. I see you made it. How do we help him? Shall we get him on the ship? There'll be no need for that. Give me your gun. Are you going to amputate? It's a bit severe, but I guess you guys have more than enough legs to spur. What? What are you doing? I'm killing him and taking all his money. And I wondered why you were in prison. I think you owe me an explanation, just so I can get my story straight before the authorities haul me away. Okay, we're well used from a planet Rien, which is a neighbouring planet of Hike, where the Nelwarks reside. And both these planets are ruled over by the King and Queen of the Octagon Moon, called so because it orbits our planet in a figure eight formation. Now the well used and Nelwarks have never been good neighbours. You know the sort of thing that goes on, nuclear wars and such. But this hatred reached its pinnacle with some surprising news from the royal court. After years of opulent indulgence by the king and his peers, the royal reserve seemed to be running dry. Worrying news indeed if you lived on the moon, which of course everybody wanted to due, it, due to it being a pure and harmless ideal. Taking advantage of this want from both our worlds, the king arranged a competition to the two races. The one planet which contributed the most money to the crown would be rewarded with private land on the moon on which to live. As both planets were three times the size of the moon, space was limited, and so on the great moving day, the king would send out a ship to fly over the winning world and deposit moon rocks in the atmosphere. The rocks that made it down to the surface and onto an individual's land would signal them out as movers. The values, being good and honest, earn their money, following age-old treasure hunts and offering their never-ending knowledge to backward societies, while the Nelwarks, being evil and untrustworthy, steal their funds, usually from the well use. There are two ways of using the money. You can give it all to the planetary cause, or you can donate half of your riches to the cause and keep the other half to yourself to increase your property, furthering the chances of being hit by a moon rock. The only disadvantage to the latter is the danger of losing the worldwide bid and it is because of this that the well used are currently behind the nil works. My friend here knew he was unable to carry on banking so sent out a, a distress call asking for another well you to replace him and I now ask you to fill the gap I leave. Join the bid, buy some land on Rian, and be in with a chance to live out your days in splendour on the octagon moon with me. I'm sure it's better than the poor pension. What do you say? If I go back to civilised Paul, they'll wrap out my personality and make me a mindless but very impressive piece of green metal again. What are you talking about, Irv? There's Rover, and he's all mechanical. That's who would do the ripping. He hates competition. There may not be much of poor to go back to. When I left, we'd just lost HQ and been run off our so-called allies' world. You don't need psychic abilities to see poor's future is as dark as the space they protect. That was beautiful. I don't remember you being good with words, though. Where did you learn that? I took an English course while I was in prison. Okay, pal. We're with you for the time being. What do we do first? Take the navigational computer out of his ship to see where he was heading next. Couldn't you, you just have asked him before you shot him? I know, I know. I was too hasty in doing that. You're not going to complain about it the whole t way, are you? 
Never-ending knowledge, huh? This should be interesting, if not life-threatening. And with that, Shelley becomes eternally involved with the Wellu and Nelwark race against bank accounts and foregoes her military career for a life of glitter chasing. Okay, so that's the end of To the Bitter Goes the Moon. Next will be To the Bitter Goes the Moon Part 2, Fallow Space. So, see you all on that one.